This pair of Huang Hualien spotted bamboo cabinets are one of the top lots of Asia Week this year. Christie's Chinese furniture expert Michelle Chang shows off a pair of cabinets dating from the Ming Dynasty. Its most unique feature is its spotted bamboo. What's the asking price? The asking price for this pair is 2.8 to 3.2 million dollars. This armchair hopes to fetch between 250,000 and 300,000 dollars, as does this meditation stool dating from the 17th century. Classical Chinese furniture, defined as pieces created in the Ming or Qing dynasties from the end of the 14th century to the beginning of the 20th century, is expensive. But Cheng says demand for it is growing. At the moment, the furniture market is driven by really great examples in Huang Hualli and Zitan wood. The Huang Hualli wood is uh, valuable for the beautiful, lustrous quality, the golden tones of the wood. And the Zitan is a very dense wood, very tight grain. It has a beautiful dark purpley color. Cheng says buyers are also increasingly paying attention to a piece's provenance or past when determining its value. I think that a lot of uh, clients feel more secure when they have an object of provenance. Uh, we look for pieces that have publication records that have been spoken about in lectures and articles um, that have been longed to famous collections or have been exhibited in museums or exhibitions that focus on this time period. The furniture available for auction at Christie's comes from one family, the Flax, who live in the United Kingdom. Some of the finest examples of classical Chinese furniture are held by Western collectors. But as items come up for sale, it is increasingly Chinese collectors who are buying them in a bid to reclaim some of their culture. That relatively new influx of buyers has helped fuel prices to record highs over the past decade and a half.